of all, thank you, AAIS, uh, for hosting me. Uh, generative AI is a relatively new form of uh, artificial intelligence, and it you know, represents a natural evolution in the path of uh, AI. What makes it special is its ability to actually understand language, be able to synthesize it, analyze it, compare it, uh, and you know, to be able to give you uh, some, uh, not just simple response, but actually to be able to create uh, content and create uh, sensible responses for you. So we see it as a, as a big step forward, especially with the large language models, because now the ability to just ingest a lot of data uh, to be able to analyze it in context has taken a big, uh, big leap with these large language models, which is some part of Gen AI. We feel that uh, Gen AI has a lot of applications across the whole insurance value chain. If you see that insurance is very complex, it has complex language, it has long documents, and it takes a lot of time for people. Uh, even after years of digitization, we all know that insurance industry still has a lot of manual processes. So with Gen AI, you can actually start to make sense of complex documents. Uh, you can start to read them like a human would. You can start to take meaning out, values out. And you can also start to you know, take comparative steps like a human does. For example, uh, to read a claims note, see what the claim is for, what are the values, and then compare it to what's covered in the policy. We have not had that kind of capability before. The same thing uh, for broking, uh, policy checking, comparing uh, different quotes from carriers, in reinsurance for ingestion of these large big treaty and border documents. So the applications are um, endless. I see five main roadblocks in the enterprise and insurance adoption of Gen AI. First one, and I hear this all the time, where people tell me, you know, hey, I've gone and experimented with chat GPT and you know, given me a great answer. Well, so it's easy to experiment like that and great that people are finding out its potential, but when you're doing it for sensitive and complex insurance tasks and doing it in the enterprise in the context of privacy and security, um, it requires, it, it, it's a very different thing. You know, there you have to make sure that it's in some sort of a secure environment. There is a lot of integration. Uh, there is a lot of building custom models that understand insurance because um, you can't deal with 99%. Right? I mean, you can't make, make errors with these sorts of things. Um, so when you get into production, you know, where you have complex documents and you need to do repetitive tasks thousand times a day, you know, it's a very different thing to then experimentation. So that's number one in my mind, and that's the biggest one. The second is we see a lot of risk in general experimentation, right? And I just touched it, for example, in my previous comment, 99% is not good enough, right? So you know that in, in the industry, a single error can cost a lot of, you know, if you're insured, if you're a broker and you didn't get the right coverage or you fail to warn them, that can be a major exposure. Likewise, if you violate something, if you're a carrier and violate something or don't pay a claim, so the risk of experimentation is very high. Therefore, you need to know what you're doing and you need to have very finely tuned models and you need to have a good validation and QA process on top of it. Third, I think we all hear about is around data privacy and confidentiality. So you can't, in many instances, just use a general open um, Gen AI service because that will just leak your confidential information or will use your confidential information and your forms or your, whatever you have, you know, your special underwriting rules or whatever will go back to the processor, right? And become a part of the public corpus. So you have to be very careful on that. The fourth angle is obviously skill set. Even though this is a subset of the broader AI field, and in a way, some aspects are easier, it is very different. So you need to know what you're doing. Uh, you need, you cannot apply old knowledge, old methods, old software techniques to building with Gen AI. Uh, you'll just wait a lot, waste a lot of time and money. So, you know, and then this is very new, so people are still learning. And finally, you know, everybody uh, has a time and a cost factor, right? Nobody has endless budgets and executive teams and boards are asking for results today. So there is a way to get accelerated and uh, accelerated um, results from Gen AI, but you need to be you need to be able to solve all of these other problems to to get it to work. So 
I think, like I said, my previous comment, I think you need to have you know, a team, you need to have the right software foundation, you need to put in place a lot of building blocks so that you can actually build safely, securely, with high accuracy, with high effectiveness. So I would put a shameless plug in for people like Bluepond, you know, have a, have a partner who's actually built some of those foundational building blocks. Even if you want to build your own application, even if you want to train your models with your own data, still have a partner who knows what they're doing, who has the right skill set and expertise, and more importantly, has an enterprise grade software platform where all of your data privacy, security, quality uh, concerns, you can test out and make sure you know, that they're taken care of. Bluepond is a relatively new firm. You know, we've been building for about a year and a half, but we only launched in January 24. That said, my team and I, you know, we're a 50 plus member team now. So we're big, a little bit bigger than your typical startup. Uh, and all of us, and especially the senior leadership team of Bluepoint, all of us have been in the industry on average 15 to 20 years. And we've all had a long history of building, um, you know, machine learning tools for insurance industry. And our special sauce is that we have a platform that is uh, very targeted, pre-trained for property and casualty insurance. Think of it as a Gen AI platform that out of the box understands complex PNC language, can identify PNC uh, insurance documents, uh, can break them down into parts and can run very fine grained operations and data extraction on those documents. So for example, for brokers, we can identify a policy, which line and class, who is the insured, we can automatically, in context of the line of business, do a policy check or a quote comparison. For underwriting, uh, at the carrier side, we can look at compliance to underwriting rules. For claims, we can match claims documents and policy documents. For reinsurance, you know, we have a lot of applications like looking into portfolios, uh, looking at ingestion of complex insurance documents and so on. So we've custom built a platform for the whole PNC value chain.